Yeah, so I'll show you the way I tie my bug. I do this without no back lard because I find it comfortable for me and it sits well on my head. My bug is like this high, you can see my hair and stuff like that. So this is easy say for me to do it. I feel comfortable in this, I feel like it fits me. So yeah, let's let's get on with the demonstration. So normally <clears throat> with a canine bug, people start like there and they bite on it. Or they put it under here under the neck to keep it clean, which you can also do. What I do is I start here. Which people might think is crazy because they're like, how do you get structure on your head? Don't want to just slip off. So I'll just show you at the back right here. Right there. Oops. Yeah, so I've got that there. And I hold it with my right hand. So I bring it down. Okay. So I'm still holding it with my right hand as you can see. Okay, now at the back, I'm just bringing it across. And now that's got the first lard in place. So I've got it there. Right, you realize sometimes um, when people do tie any bug, you tend to have your right side a bit unbalanced compared to your left side. By that, I mean the width between each lot should be equal, and so it should be on the other side. I'll show you what I mean once I finish tying my bug or towards the end. So, So you can see you're trying to get that equalness between each lad. Make sure you keep it tight as well. And on the right side, can you see? I can spit down on the gas key. I nearly finished tying a bug. Hmm. Quite quick these days, isn't it? Okay, so look at the back right here. Can you see that? I'm just trying to, I tried to get in the middle, and yes, I do have a little tunes there, which I sort of do up at the end of the bug. So yeah, just bring it around. Yeah. Okay, so so I'm here, right? Now I'm not tucked it in. Um, normally, most people just tuck it in and then do the. Uh, back, the back lard, or what I mean is the first lard in terms of tucking the top of your bug in, or the top of your head, sorry. <clears throat> so let's come back to here. Now normally, most people have a back lard here, they kitch it out, and you tuck everything in. In my case, I don't have that because when I tie my bug, I start from here. Not at the neck part, not at the mouth part, but right from here. So what I'll do is, I'll pull out the whole lard. So just check this out, this very first one. This is the initial lot I started with when I tied my bug. So pull, pull it all out, so there. Looks a bit mucky right now, but you know, once it's all done. So good. So, yeah, just pull it all out, literally just tuck it all in. Yeah, so that's all done. Get this. And then you simply uh, tuck in. And voila, you got it done. I'll add in one little extra tutorial. And this is what I do at the end to neaten up the bug. Because despite it being done, sometimes you might have, I don't know, a particular you be, but like some lot at the back might not be even. So, me and my brother have always done this since we've been little. We get another side mirror, 
right? And what we do is, we grab the Salai, yeah? All of us need one of these bad boys. Then you go to the back, and I look in the mirror in front of me, and then I start tucking in everything as well. So, let's bring it onto this side actually, I can't see it. So go like this, and you can see if any lard is a bit out. So I can tell my second last lard, slightly lower than the third third last, so I'll just tuck it in like this. Make everything equal on each lard, every single one. Do what Junja said I talk about at the end, bring that in. Yeah, and I'm going to the top right here, and I can look over as well. Make everything neat. See how it all looks. So there we go. The third, the third last lot is still slightly in. It's not completely equal amongst the rest of the lot. So I can just pull that out a bit. There you go. And there you have a bug that's Kenyan, and uh, no back lot. If you want to do it, make sure it suits you want to be as a person because don't forget this is our crown. You know, it's there to represent something.